All right, we're back at Harry's Coin Shop for another appraisal, and I think this is gonna be the best one yet. Did you know SD Bullion is giving away a monster box of 2023 Silver Eagles? Sign up today at sdbullion.com slash sweepstakes. Good morning, Harry. Good morning, Silver Dragons. Good to see you. Yes, good to, see you. good to be back. What up, Adrian? How's it going? Doing good. We got a new face over here. Good, Brandon. How you doing? Brandon, nice How to you? meet you, Silver Thank Dragons. You He's security? Yes. Nice, all right. And of course, uh, King Richard, as you've been dubbed in the comment section. Good to see you all. Okay, so we got Silver Price at uh, high 22s, I guess. It's a good price to be stacking at. Absolutely. We got uh, silver rounds sitting at 26. Whoa, eagles came down a little bit. Under $30. Under 30 bucks for silver eagles. I better show the case because people always say they want to see the case. And you got a nice variety of coins here. Oh, you do have a lot of eagles too. What about uh, junk silver? Well, look at the look at the new pricing. We're at 18 times face value, which is the lowest it's been in over a year. Yeah, that's like... That's like under a $3 premium. Yes, it is. In fact, despite what I've predicted in the past, the recent past, it's now dipped a little bit under the premium on a silver round. So it's cheaper to buy junk silver than silver rounds right now. Yes, which is a traditional thing, but that kind of went away for the last two years. And now it just sort of has eclipsed it on the bottom side and it's a little bit less. Yeah, well, if people are wanting to stack uh, for SHTF, maybe you're a prepper, you want to get some of this barter material. Now is a great time to be picking it up. It is indeed. Yes. Yeah. Well, very cool. Glad to see the price is coming down. And uh, this is going to be a fun video because we've done this a few times before, but uh, I brought in some coins for appraisal here, Harry. Better get the tray. <laughs> This might be the hardest one yet, though. I have some weird oddballs for you. Okay. Oh, boy. You thought you were going to stump Richard? <laughs> I kind of did think some of these would stump Richard. Some Fugazis. Some Fugazis? You can see can it from that far away. away. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. Uh, a fake Szechuan dollar. Wow, what is a Szechuan dollar? It sounds like uh, I'm ordering chicken or something. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, China made the silver dollars in different regions. Uh, they didn't really have a central government at the time. So this one is uh, Szechuan. Interesting, so it's from China? Well, yeah, probably, even if it's fake. <laughs> yeah, okay. Especially if it's fake. <laughs> yeah, definitely from China, okay. <laughs> All right, so that's not worth anything? Oh no, not as a fake. Okay. This appears to be a shop marked British trade dollar. All right. I'd want to look at it closer. They do make a lot of fakes of these as well. Um, that might be real though. Maybe real, maybe fake. All right. Yeah. We got, what is this, 10 cash coin. This is uh, interesting. I don't know what time period it is and if it's actually China or um, they made these for Vietnam as well. It's kind it of a weird one because it's got like a square in the middle. Oh yeah, that was uh, that was just how they made them. They would cast these and then the, the center would be empty. You could tie a string through it. Uh, kind of like a way to carry your money or make decorations. And then they'd sand the other bits off and recycle that to make more coins. Do you know uh, why it's called a 10 cash coin? Um, like you have pence and shillings for the old British system. The uh, Chinese had, you know, something else and their smallest denomination was the cash in English. And here you have the symbol for 10, so this is 10 cash. So can I trade it to you for $10 cash today? <laughs> <laughs> we also have samurai coinage here. Okay. This is a... Uh, a silver piece. They used this in the samurai days. Pretty cool stuff. 
Samurai silver? Yep. That's crazy. So we got two samurai silvers. What about that one? This, this stumps me. Oh, we no got idea. a stumper? Yep. Even Richard doesn't know it, Harry. Well, in the moment, maybe. Give him 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one was a very strange one. Is this more North Korea? Yep. Yeah, this is another North Korean coin. One won. Look at that. Yeah. Kind of hard to find. They make a lot of commemoratives. And the mintages are very low. I'm not sure if the coins are intended to ever leave the country or what. Wow. Okay. Look at this. German East Africa, two rupees, 1893. You do not see those very often. That's, really? Yeah, that's cool. It's a beautiful coin too. Nice condition. What is that made out of? Silver. That's a silver coin? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, there's a lot of crazy stuff in this lot. Do you think there's any money here? I mean... Oh yeah. I mean, if this trade dollar is real, that's you know, even with the chop marks, probably well over 50 bucks. Really? Yeah. And then you got a gold sovereign here. Hopefully that one's real. Got a gram of platinum, it looks like. Mm, maybe. Oh, maybe. Palladium. Palladium. Yeah, yeah, we brought, it's the first palladium I brought in the shop. Yeah. Even better. <clears throat> yeah, although the price has come down significantly on palladium, it would be probably a bad time to sell. <laughs> I mean, it was more than gold for a long time. It was, so was platinum. Yeah, that's true. Uh, well, which one of these, uh, Richard, do you think you're gonna need to do more research on, uh, of the world coins anyway? Uh, definitely this one, since I didn't know what it was, and the trade dollar. Okay. What about these uh, samurai silvers? Are those worth any money? Oh uh, yeah, uh, the, the issue, so the one shoe coins, those are probably about $20 in that condition. 20 bucks each? Yep. Is that what you'd pay me for these today? Probably 15. Really? Yeah. Well, I got bad news for you. What, these ones aren't good? One of them's fake. How'd you tell, was it Very by weight advice. or? No, I guess I should probably come clean with you guys. Yeah, from <laughs> no, so uh, actually someone from Instagram, HK Colonial Coins, they sent me all of these ones uh, from Asia. That's actually their specialty. They help people get coins out of Asia. Mm -hmm. um, and I had a really good experience with them. And they sent me these to be appraised. They said, this is expert level coins. Yeah. And so I thought it'd be fun to bring them in. And uh, I mean, I couldn't tell, to be honest. I have no this idea. This has been acid tested. So you can see where the acid reacted to the silver. Yeah. And it's got that, that, um, dull mark so that that's an indicator there so it's been tested yes that's how did tested. you determine that one of them wasn't real uh they gave me a cheat sheet they did yeah yeah they told me exactly what all of them were just one's got a cast look and the other one looks like it's been acid treated yeah i'm um, tested i mean are these even considered coins oh yeah oh yeah yeah pcgs will grade those too really i've never seen anything like these before why are they called samurai uh, coins? Did, did samurai actually use them? Yeah, and it was uh, during that, that time period of the Shogun, that's when they used them. The acid tests, they probably use something like bleach or something, so it coming black, that's actually a good sign. And then if you look at the edges and compare it to this one, this was filed. This is weird, it's more like cut. And then just look at the size too. And then this one looks like pewter compared okay. to this looking like silver. Yeah, so which is the real one? Oh, this one. Yep. So the the darker one with the acid test is real and this one's fake. They look so similar and most people would never be able to tell. I mean, what's what's the average person to do, Harry, when they see stuff like this i mean how could we ever know if it's real you know we can be fooled too i'll show you something this is the second tuition box one is not even here but you know we get fooled and whoa that's look the at business. all of this yeah we, these are all fakes oh every one of them some of these look better than the real ones <laughs> wow you know i take a second look at stuff after i buy things yeah. i bought this one from another dealer this is a fake cuban peso and I noticed it when I went to go price it. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, this this isn't real. What a so bummer. I let them know. Wow. 
So yeah, people yeah. make mistakes. It yeah. happens, but uh, it's a good learning experience. And honestly, if you bought one of these for uh, fifteen dollars and it turned out to be fake, you know, it wouldn't be the end of the world. No, um, but it happens, and it's an unfortunate part of the hobby that there are so many people trying to be deceitful. And these days, mostly out of China. And one thing I do want to add: with these, for example, we would test them, of course before buying them and before we put anything in our cases we always make sure to fully test everything and that's why we come up with a tuition box. <laughs> yeah. Those are the ones that didn't make the case. They did yeah. not. Because <laughs> we're always double checking each other and you know one of us is bound to figure it out. Right. So we know this one's a fake and we know this one's a fake but we're not sure on that one yet. Nope. Yep. Look at that. Not real. So it failed the silver test. Yep. You could tell because it wasn't silver then. Yeah. And it sounded different too. It's not. Let me wave. Yeah, see if it weighs what it's supposed to. That's a bummer. I was hoping to get 50 bucks out of that. <laughs> I'd say more than half of the trade dollars oh, no. that come in, US and British, are not real. Really? More Most of them half. are fake? Most. Wow. This one's definitely fake. It only comes in at 24.4 yeah. grams. Well, all right, those are fake. So we got three fakes and the rest are, as far as we know, real. Although now you're gonna be suspicious of all the coins. Yeah. <laughs> but this is expert level. I mean, this is our third appraisal video. So, you know, we had to step it up for this one. I kind of want to get uh, uh, Brandon's opinion on some of these coins. Uh, if you feel comfortable maybe trying to give me a price on any of these, what do you think? Because you're the newest member of the team here. <clears throat> That'd be tough for me because I don't, I will be the first to say I don't have the knowledge these other guys have. Well, maybe try one of the but, easier ones. Try like a, maybe like a Silver Eagle. If I brought in a Silver Eagle, said, hey, I want to sell that, what would you give me? I think we're doing like 26 on that. 26 bucks? I think so. All right. Is that about right, Harry? All right. There you go. Varies day to day, but nicely done. Yeah. And Brandon's primary role is to keep the customers and us safe. Sure. And whatever else he does with coins is a bonus. <laughs> and you got that one right. Do you think it's real, by the way, just out of curiosity? Do I think it's real? Yeah. Silver Eagle? Yeah, I think it's real. Yeah, it's real. I mean... It came out of my stack, so it better that, be real. It's got that funny <laughs> security feature they, they added on the Even the fake ones edge. have that security feature, though. And yeah, some of the right. fake ones have yeah, the security feature. The other day we got, secure, but. Yeah, we got a collection the other day. Somebody bought, it was like 30 of them. Really? All fakes. All fake Silver Eagles? And they even tested 999 on the Sigma. On the Sigma. Wow. But you just look at so many of them that you just pick it up and you're like, well, that's fake. You can just tell. Yeah. All right, so uh, I guess with this whole collection, we have... 26 bucks so far, that's that's where we're at. Which, you know, I mean, it's not nothing, but we have a lot of stuff to go through here. And, and, and 15. That's <laughs> right, one. that's right. So we're up to uh, 40, $41 on the collection so far. And these are gonna have to go in the melting pot, I guess. What do you think about this one, Adrian? It's a swan, so it's from the Perth Mint. Let's see. And I know you do more of the collectible type stuff sometimes, so. First look, it looks okay. <laughs> yeah, I hope it's okay. Yeah, I think it's okay. But now you guys are suspicious well, like, of everything I bring in. Well, that's, that's, the, that's the way it goes, you know, and, and if you ever come in and want to sell this stuff, we're going to be like, hey, you know what? I'm <laughs> kidding. I'll tell you if I bring in real stuff or not. <laughs> no, <laughs> this is obviously, you know, for fun. Oh, of course. No fly list. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, no, I've ruined my reputation. It's good. Test's good? Yep. All right, so it is silver. Now this is the 2017 Swan. Swan. Yeah, silver Swan. So remember would you pay more for that as opposed to just a regular so coin? So I, I remember these were, um, they had some um, pretty, quite a bit of a premium at one point. I don't know if it still is the case, but that's something we would look up before making an offer so, on. So where would you be on that one, Adrian? Um, anywhere from 45 to maybe, yeah, about 45, I think. 45 bucks? Yeah. That's not bad. That's not bad. I mean, we'll add that to the winner's circle over here. <laughs> what What are you seeing, Harry? Anything jumping out at you? No. Oh, I'm going to weigh that one. Weigh that piece dollar? Yeah. Doesn't feel right. Oh, he said it doesn't feel right. 21.7 grams. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we look at enough of these. It's just the, the feel. The, the look was okay, but the feel wasn't. There's actually one thing on this. 
uh, that is a dead giveaway, which is kind of funny. It says uh, fake copy. Yeah, that, that's right over there on the now side. Now that you mention it. <laughs> <laughs> but it also weighs wrong. Yeah, but it so. just doesn't feel right in the hand. Yeah. yeah. Feel that? So we got at least four fakes yeah, in here. Yeah, it feels light. Yeah. I think this one's okay. Good Morgan dollar? Common, common 1896, the decent piece. Probably about $24, maybe $30 coin. 30 bucks? Yeah. Does that depend on the grade or? Yeah, it does. If it's an uncirculated, you know, it's gonna go more towards 30. If it's a real, you know, rough circulated one, it'll be closer to 20. Do you think this is maybe like uh, AU or what would you put on that? I'd definitely go AU on that. AU on that? Yeah. Nice. So we have another winner. What about the gold piece? I'm really curious what you would do on a sovereign. Well, it's what's good what's good bets going for it is it's a very known piece. So even though it's not an even number, it's it's a little less than a quarter of an ounce. It's point two three five four, but it's it's widely known among people that stack gold. Okay. And and it trades as a bullion piece. Interesting. So what would you be at as far as like a, a price on that? Probably somewhere just slightly below melt. You know, probably about four hundred twenty dollars. Four twenty. About right about. That's there. a pretty good number. All right, all right. Yeah. <laughs> We're at four twenty on the gold. We're getting a nice little profit going here, I guess. It's the German coin. Yeah. Very cool. There's only thirty three thousand of these minted. Um, that's something we would offer $400 on. Are you serious? Yeah. That would be $400? $400. And uh, if people were to bring something like this in this bag, I would give them this little holder to, to put something like this in so it's not readily around in a little canvas bag anymore. Wow, $400 for that coin. Would you buy that today for $400? Uh, after doing some more tests, yeah. <laughs> All right, um, do you want to do some more tests on it? <laughs> Harry's back there laughing. Well, if you get a fake one, you might as well pick a key date. Yeah, no doubt, right? Now Adrian's all suspicious. Don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. It tested right for the silver? Yeah, but there's also, um, you gotta weigh it. Yeah, let's see what the weight is. 23.4 grams. 23.3, so that's good. Oh, interesting. It's supposed to be 23.3, it was 23.4. That's close enough. All right. What, I mean, what other tests can you really do, right? It's real uh, silver. Measure it. Well, Let's the thing is, it. you have to kind of look at the dye pairings and see if there's any signs of tooling, because sometimes yeah. we'll tool different dyes to make coins. For example, there's been some Brazilian coins that are made out of silver. Mm -hmm. They'll be made out of the same composition as silver. But um, the best way to do it is pull up uh, on a computer uh, the you know the different dies and make sure that there's no tooling marks or known counterfeits of that coin. The NGC actually has a pretty good site on counterfeit world coins. Um, that's one of the uh, sites that's helped me detect some world counterfeits. Yeah, I wonder if they would have anything on this coin. They probably would if it's a key date. Yeah, I see Richards over here going through like some actual marks on the coin well it's the this is a funny thing this is exactly what we do when we're buying a collection right you got to go we through sit it down we take a look at it we do our research yeah and yeah you know there's there's times where you know we're, we're doing this stuff and like the stuff in the tuition box is all the common stuff right that doesn't take too much time to look up right for sure and um, pieces like this it takes definitely more time to to look at it yeah well these are definitely some weird pieces and I know if someone brought this collection in, it would certainly take you guys a while to go through it and figure out a price and everything. Yeah, yeah there's some tooling marks there next to the shield. Here, let me see Let me see if I can. So just to the left of the shield? Yep. But it's good to have an A chain on I can definitely see there are some slight indentations on the left of the shield, but mm -hmm. how is that not just considered like damage? Well, cause you, you would, it would flash back a brighter color of silver more than being the same shade of silver or reflective surface as the coin is so that's the giveaway right there yeah so i, I had this uh, same thing i learned this on a brazilian a thousand ray is it the the really big one yeah yeah so i, I purchased one in it and you know so the metal was perfect the size was perfect um but then you know i 
I'm kind of learning about it and I'm looking it up and an NGC article came up. Oh, you know, these coins are very faked. And it highlighted in red all the little areas to look for the tool marks that show that the coin was actually a fake. Well, I mean, even the best can be fooled sometimes. It's such a good fake. And the funny thing is, I personally would have no idea if this was real or not. You know, people that get a coin collection, they have literally no idea and they bring it to you. I think most of the time when we buy things that aren't real, the owner doesn't know. Right. But there's a couple of times when I'm pretty certain they did know. Yeah. And they're just trying yet again to fool somebody. Yeah. Well, obviously, I'm I'm just doing this video for fun. I'm not actually selling oh, any yeah, of this stuff. Some <laughs> on our toes, too. Uh, yeah. and, and Save they, me 400 they, bucks. They did a good job on it, too. I mean, it's, you can see the slight toning around the rim. So it, it's a silver piece. But the thing is, it's... It's a fake it's, coin, but it's, it's actually coins. made out of silver. Yeah. Well, it's $15 worth of silver where they're making a, a $400 coin. So it's worth making it out of silver. Yeah. Yeah, you might as well, I guess. All right, so we have... Uh, five fakes over here, and I will tell you th these were the only fakes in the whole collection. So all the other ones, including this, should be real. real. Uh, I was told that that one is real, and uh, I actually have some information on it that I can share with you. Yeah. So it is from the Morayan Dynasty. I'm not exactly sure. Do you know how to pronounce that right there? That sounds right. Is that something that you would have in a book, Harry, or? I mean, if I had a name like that, I could certainly do a Google search and read about what that is or go to Wikipedia. This is actually something I've probably never seen before. So if someone brought this in, Harry, you wouldn't offer him any money for it? I'd well, probably pass on it just because yeah. I would not be able to figure out and I'd be very suspicious of the rust and the verdigris and I'd probably consider it not real. I'd, I'd yeah. recommend the owner to just send it in for grading and yeah. see what you know NGC or PCGS comes up with. Yeah, would I they would have, have to send that into NGC because it's like ancient? I would send it to NGC that's, personally. Yeah, that's yeah. the only place that could handle it, I think. If somebody, if I didn't know what it was, I wouldn't feel comfortable making an offer because I might say, oh, okay, you know, there's four bucks of silver here. I'll give you $3 for it. And then, you know, come find out it's a $500 piece or something. Yeah, so you just probably pass on it. Oh, yeah. And I would tell them, hey, if you ever find out what it is and you're able to do the research on it, come back, let us know. Okay, that seems fair. So we have one pass. Um, what about these other? We have three more pieces here. Is there any value in these? Uh, this one I looked up. I don't know if this is an anomaly. Uh, one sold for $3. <laughs> three bucks? Three okay. Bucks. So probably a dollar or two on that. A couple bucks and throw it in the bargain bin. Mm -hmm. Okay, so obviously if I was bringing in these coins for real, I would have just told you this is what I think it is. But here, I'll, I don't even know how to say this, but I'll give it to you, Richard. Maybe you could pronounce it right. I, I would guess that's Shan Feng Tong Bao, but I, I, I don't know Chinese. Okay. So maybe that would help you look it up though, at least. Oh yeah. Given but. if an, another coin person who knows how to, you know, pick out fakes like this says this is real, uh, if this was real, we'd probably offer $15 on it. 15 bucks? Mm -hmm. All right. So we got a number on all this stuff. And lastly, we have the little palladium gram, which is the only palladium that I own, Harry. Well, let's assume it's real. <laughs> <laughs> it better be real. I mean... Let's see. So, so we'd be right about $36 on that. 36 bucks? Yeah. All Just right. a sp We'd be buying it at spot or at the milk price. Wow, so you buy that spot and maybe sell it for a little over? Maybe make $15 on it on yeah. a markup. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, we got a number on everything. We eventually weeded out what we believe are the fakes. <laughs> we had one pass and uh, we got an appraisal on all these coins. So I would say overall, this was pretty difficult, huh, Harry? It is difficult. And it's important that people see that while we love what we do, it's not always easy. Yeah. And we do we can make mistakes and have made mistakes and they can be expensive ones. Yeah. I think personally, if, if I didn't have Adrian and Richard to consult with, I more than likely would have bought this or at the very least would have asked the customer to send it into NGC and get it verified. But it just looks, it looks fine to me. Yeah. It really does. And so it just, it's a good lesson for all of us to be as careful as you can be. And even then, there's pitfalls. 
Yep. Don't be like Richard. Don't rush into things. Take your time. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, you, you guys did a really great job. I mean, I'm bringing this stuff in. People are sending it to me. I don't even know what it is. So I, I had a good experience. Okay. But uh, we'll have to do it again. Thanks so much. Thanks, Adrian. Silver Carriage. Thank you. Yep.